Hello friends, this is Miss Carmen from the Fluorable Public Library and I'd like to welcome you to Kids Club. Kids Club is our craft program for children 5 to 8. Every week we work on a different project using materials that you will have readily available at home. At least most homes do. Today we're going to make a rain stick. I had a lot of fun making my rain stick. I hope you do too. Let's review the materials and the supplies that you will need. You will need half a cup of rice, a pair of scissors, a round object, a towel paper roll, and make sure that your round object is bigger than the towel paper roll. You'll need a pencil or a pen, some glue. I use craft glue because it is thicker and dries faster and holds better. A wooden spoon with a thick handle if you can find one. Some, oh, I already said the scissors, but two stacks of uh, brown sacks for lunch and two pieces of uh, aluminum foil that are bigger than your towel paper roll. I don't think you can see the whole thing, but they do need to be bigger. Look. Let's get started by cutting both of our stacks. First, I got started first, so I didn't have to use the scissors too much on, in, on the camera. Cut by the seam, and also cut the bottom out. Cut, cut off the seam and cut off the bottom. I did it like this. It doesn't take that long, but I am gonna finish this one on camera, and my other one is already done, so it doesn't have to be perfect. There you go. You're going to measure your towel paper roll and, oh, this is almost to the seam, so it's easy going to be cutting it off. Remember that you're going to cover the bottom and the top, so if it's not the exact length it will be fine. So this one was more or less to the seam and that makes it a lot easier to get my piece of brown paper ready. You're gonna glue that piece of paper to your towel paper roll but before you do that measure and cut. Just give it a little overlap measure to make sure it covers the whole thing and give it a little overlap. Very well. Then apply glue. I applied glue on the towel paper roll but you can do it however you want. You can do it either on the towel paper roll or you can apply the glue to the paper, however you feel more comfortable. All right, and I do like to make a few lines to make sure that it, it will stick. Yes, see I'm holding it with two of my fingers in the middle, in, inside. Here we go. That should be plenty of glue. So just roll it on your piece of paper and cover it. There you go. I will do a little more glue on the seam. to make sure it sticks. Yeah. 
I did not decorate mine, but I would tell you it, to decorate it with the stickers, paint it, see whatever you want to do. Uh, just tie some um, strings. I hope you are more creative and come up with some very fun projects. And I do hope also that you take pictures of those projects and you send them to me. So once you have your roll covered, we're going to set it aside and we're going to work on the second sack. This one is already pre-cut because I didn't want to take too much camera time. And this is where you're going to use your circle, your round object to trace two circles. And go ahead and cut them off. I have mine pre-cut. And I'm going to cover one of the sides of my rain stick. So again, I put glue on the roll and I'm going to grab my lid like this and just push it to get it to stick there. You're probably going to have to use more glue than the one I just did. This is just a, a little bit and if you want it to stick properly, you'll probably have to do a lot more glue than that. So. I'm going to apply more glue to this one. Okay, and once you have glued the cover, I want you to set it aside because we're going to work on the rest while this dries. So you have two pieces of aluminum foil that are bigger on both ends than your towel paper roll. I want you to fold them. You're gonna make a few folds. I'm sorry if it's noisy. And fold it to where you have it about half an inch wide. Okay, so once you're folding it, you'll see what I'm going to do. I am going to use the wooden spoon to create some spirals. Yes, we're creating some spirals by wrapping our aluminum foil on the handle of the wooden stick. Fold it very, very tight. And if you didn't do it too tight, then when you're rolling it on the spoon, you, it will come tight. And remove the aluminum foil from the spoon. And you will have a nice spiral. Yes, which I just want you to set aside. Very well. And now we're going to do the second one. The same procedure. Fold. Fold. And fold one more time. And let's repeat the procedure to get another spiral of aluminum. This is what is actually going to produce the rain sound inside your towel paper roll. So let's wrap it around the wooden spoon again. I hope that if you decorate your own rain sticks with crayons or markers or stickers or however you want, you take pictures and you send them to me. I would love to see what you guys are doing at home. Oh, this turned out better than the other one. Very well. So now, it just goes inside and I think I have to redo this one, but that happens. So let's repeat this one. I didn't really like how it turned out, but see, nothing happens. You just redo it.
very well. And don't spread it too much so that you have two spirals in there and just push it in. Now you have both the spirals inside your towel paper roll and you just put it in. Very carefully grab your rice. I put mine in a measuring cup to prevent a lot of a spill. I hope I don't spill too much when I'm doing this. Ooh, there it goes. Can you hear how it sounds? It doesn't it sound like, oh my goodness, just made a little mess in here. All right, so now you're gonna do the same, close it the same way. Apply glue. This time I'm gonna go heavier on the glue because I noticed that my other end needed more. So, there you go. Grab your second circle of paper and Stick it to your rain stick. I recommend that you let it sit for a few minutes so it dries some before you play with it. But if you want to start testing it, do what I'm going to do right now, which is hold it on both ends while it, it dries. You ready? Okay. Here we go. So let it sit and dry and decorate it the way you want. I hope you had fun. Thanks everyone for joining me today. I hope you had fun making your rain stick and you have also fun listening to the rainfall inside it. Thanks again. See you next time. Happy summer. <laughs>